Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys, how are you? I hope that you all are fine. Today in this video, I will show you how to determine the fundamental period of vibration of a building structure. Why we need fundamental period of vibration? Okay, we need fundamental period of vibration to perform equivalent uh, static analysis of uh, for earthquake load analysis okay for earthquake load determination uh, that is why we need fundamental period of vibration in x and y direction so what is fundamental period of vibration of a building the fundamental period of vibration of a building is uh, the mode in which the whole building will oscillate in one loop either and the other okay you see let us consider this cantilever beam you see it is fixed at the base and its main position is this and when earthquake base shear will excite this building laterally at the base then it will oscillate in this manner okay so this is the fundamental mode of vibration you see if you consider this you see that there is two loop one is this and another is this okay if you consider this there uh, this it is vibrating in three loops one two three okay so i hope that you have understood what is fundamental mode of vibration okay so fundamental period of vibration of a building is the period of the building in which the building will oscillate hither and thither in one loop okay in the fundamental loop let us let, let me show you more example see it is called one loop this is called two loop this is called three loop okay the fundamental frequency is defined as the lowest frequency of a periodic wave form okay so the lowest loop is one one loop if you see this one you see it is fixed at ground this star is fixed at ground when earthquake load will uh, earthquake base shear will excite the building at the base then it will oscillate either and either about the mean position about its mean position okay you see this cantilever beam is fixed at the Mm, at one end and another another on uh, another end is free it is oscillating hither and thither about its mean position in one loop you see this is not the fundamental mode of vibration because it is vibrating in two loops okay it is also not the fundamental period of vibration uh, fundamental mode of vibration because it is uh, twisting it is rotating about its one axis okay this is the fundamental period of uh, fundamental mode of vibration because it is uh, uh, oscillating up and down about uh, about the about its mean position in one loop okay this is this is also not the fundamental mode of vibration because it is also um, vibrating in two loop okay so i hope that you have understood this so let me show you how to determine the exact fundamental period of fundamental mode of vibration of a building structure in ETAPS. So let us start that. First, go to define. Okay. Uh, then you have to define the mass source. Okay. That is to mass source. So modify show mass source. Okay. It is. Uh, it must be seismic weight because we are determining the we would like to determine the fundamental period of fundamental mode of vibration of the building during the earthwork event okay so it is seismic weight the seismic weight is defined by uh, according to national building code of bangladesh bangladesh national building code the seismic
the seismic code is defined as uh, the total dead load of a building or a structure including foundation walls and applicable portions of the of other imposed loads listed below for live load up to including 3 kN per meter square in minimum of 25 percent that is 60 psf if the live load is uh, uh, 60 psf okay then a 25 uh, percent of the live load should be included in the seismic weight okay if the live load exceeds uh, 60 psf then a minimum of 50 percent of live load should be included in the seismic weight okay <coughs> um, if you are watching outside uh, Bangladesh okay then the seismic weight is uh, should be defined in your local national building code okay follow your local na national building code not necessarily this one because it is uh, according to our national building code so let us go back according to uh, BNBC live load 0 0.2 0 0.25 multiplier add okay uh, tick in the mass options you can you must okay you must uh, tick this one include lateral mass if you don't tick this no problem will happen the same result will be ended no problem but remember that don't tick the element self mass because it will double count the self weight of the structure in dead load in each of the dead load uh, the self weight is uh, already included in the dead load okay uh, okay okay then you have to define the feed out options you know that when lateral load will uh, uh, will be, uh, when the building uh, when the building will be subjected to lateral load then it will displace laterally and uh, also at the same time the vertical load will be acting so there is a pedal effect on the building okay so you should uh, account for the pedal effects and it is it should be the same as the um, uh, seismic weight okay tick the iterative based on loads and uh, define this as like uh, the seismic weight then press ok then go to define model cases okay model cases okay you have to uh, I, I have already included for demonstration purpose for fundamental it is in the X direction uh, I am pressing modify showcase you should press add new case okay I am I have given the name fundamental mode X okay and I have selected the option reach okay you should select reach because it is uh, it will yield better result okay and then select uh, the use preset petal top from tick it okay uh, then add here add and select the load pattern as acceleration and since we would like to determine the fundamental mode uh, fundamental period in x direction period in x direction to select load name in ux okay and uh, other parameters maximum number of modes you know that fundamental mode is one the loop number is one to so give uh, give a number one okay <coughs> then press ok and press uh, then another load case is uh, fundamental period in the y direction we would like to find and please select add new case and uh, since i have already included it so i am pressing modify showcase uh, then give the name fundamental period y direction reach okay and uh, load name is in the y direction in y direction okay other parameters maximum number of modes one one okay. okay then go to analyze and set load cases to run okay fundamental period make it run make it run then run
so then go to display and show tables okay analysis steps and press uh, results click on results and go to model result model periods and frequencies selected okay you see fundamental period in x direction is 1.253 and frequency is 0.798 and fundamental period in y direction is uh, 1.339 second and frequency is 0.747 the other definition of fundamental frequency is the lowest frequency okay the lowest frequency of all the modes is called as also fundamental frequency okay but according to bnbc the exact uh, structural dynamics procedure uh, structure for dynamic procedure such as the realized method or model i can analysis using structure okay is uh, we have determined the period fundamental period of the building in exact method okay that is uh, i can value by i i can value analysis but this exact fundamental period of vibration should not exceed the approximate fundamental period of um, vibration by more than 40 percent okay so uh, the approximate building period can be determined by t equal to ct h into the power m where ct equals to for concrete moment existing frame ct equals to a 0 0.0466 and uh, the exponent of h height of the building m equal to 0 0.9 okay so i have made excel sheet to determine it to determine for earthquake analysis uh, since the height of the building is 98 feet so i have input uh, 98 feet you see approximate fundamental period is 0 0.9913 and the exact fundamental period in the x direction is 1.25 we have found uh, by the from the analysis and in the y direction is 1.339 you see the difference between approximate and exact is in the x direction 25 20% and in y direction uh, 25% so it is less than 40% so the acceptable period of fundamental acceptable fundamental period of vibration is equals to 1.25 and you equal to 1.39 you should use it to determine the design spectral acceleration okay now if we put you see this is the uh, response spectrum okay now suppose that our building is uh, located in a site where the SPT value is uh, 7 so based on the SPT value uh, in the you see that according to BNBC code the average soil properties in top 30 meters is uh, um, we have to uh, account for the ab for the average soil properties in top 30 meters suppose that the average uh, speed value for top 30 meter is 45 then for 45 the circular is C okay and suppose that our building is located in Dhaka so input Dhaka okay suppose that our building occupancy category is 2 so 2 Suppose that our building um, is SRCMF, that is special reinforced, the seismic reinforcement system is special reinforced concrete movement from SRCMF. Okay, so it is automatically changed. Then for 1.25, okay, for period 1.25 in the y direction, if we uh, put this value in building period in here 1.25 okay then we get design spectral acceleration is 0 0.0230 okay uh, in the it is for x direction and if you put the uh, period in the y direction okay 1.339 that is building period 1.339 
for 1.339 the design spectral acceleration is 0.0215 so thus you can determine the exact fundamental period of um, the building okay then uh, use using this value you can compare it with the approximate fundamental period then the controlling value of fundamental period should be taken and using this acceptable fundamental period you can determine the design spectral acceleration from the response spectrum function okay now let me show you how the building oscillates so if, since if i start this uh, it apps will make a sound and my voice will be stopped so before stopping this video i would i i would recommend you to please like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos please give a like okay and don't forget to comment and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let us show the animation how it oscillates in x direction 